Hugh Hefner, a true American icon, created an empire that was unrivaled. Although some of his bunnies may have gone rogue, it's because of the love and respect that we received from the man behind it all. The Rogue Bunny's mission is simple. 100 playmates taking control of their valuable IP while honoring Hef's iconic Playboy style and bringing that experience to our collectors. Like only we know how. Because after all, we did learn from the best. Relive the stories from the most prominent celebrity home in history. From those of us that lived it. The employees that worked it. And the guests who loved it. And the, the mayhem continues. Not just the bathrooms. <laughs> Not just in the bathroom. Yeah, that's how you start the show out, Scott. You tell me now. I am so stoked for this show. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Finally all getting into the room. Hey, look, everyone out there, you've been hearing all kinds of like rumors and what's going on. And, you know, yeah, I was part of a show called The Girls Next Door. It was amazing. And... I, you know, befriended and became best friends with, well, I'm going to introduce everyone right now. Let's just get into it. We actually have in studio with us, Lauren Weinstein and Titus Hurd. Woo! Woo! Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. No, I'm so stoked that you guys are back with us. And, uh, you know, it was cool, like, recapturing just on the phone. Just like, yeah. you know, we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And the Girls Next Door show, we were just talking about that. What was that, 2005, 2009? Yeah, I, well, I started at the end of 2006, but um, but yeah, it started in 2005, season one. So I started season three. I knew what your job title was, but for oh, everyone yeah. listening, what were you doing? Yeah, I was uh, the executive producer, one of the executive producers of the show. So, But I didn't start out that way. I was like a field producer when I first started. In fact, I will always remember my first um, day on the job. I just arrived and I was a new field producer on the show and we went out with the uh, with Hef and all the girls and we went to go look at all the Christmas lights in uh, Altadena and Pasadena. We like drove around and I was like, this is so surreal. Like, what are we doing here with cameras and the whole thing? And it was so it was so much fun. But anyway, so I always remember it was Christmas of 2006. Wow. And did you did you do reality TV show before this? Yeah, I was doing like an Amazing Race, America's Next Top Model. Oh, um, yeah, I know. I was doing a lot of fun stuff, <laughs> and then um, my friend was working as a producer on this show. And I'd always, I grew up in LA, but I was always like, I want to go to the Playboy Mansion one day just to like go to a party. Like, right, who doesn't? doesn't just right? want to go to the Playboy Mansion, <laughs> and it's like, be careful what you ask for, because I basically like, lived there for the next couple of years. Thankfully, because it was awesome. It. I manifested yeah, it. Totally. I manifested the shit out of it. Yeah. And um, so I took over for her just that Christmas because she was on vacation. And then all of a sudden it was like, I think they had a guy producer at the time. And it, that just didn't fit because you're going into the girls' rooms oh, yeah. and like in their bathrooms, really intimate. So it just didn't make sense. And, and so, they're literally like just changing. I mean, it's cha just literally going just in, changing. Doing whatever yeah. they happen to be doing. Yeah. yeah. And so then it was just like at a better fit. They're like, do you want to come on? And I was about to go on another season on Amazing Race. And which was great traveling the world, but this way I could like be home and have more of like a normal like lifestyle. So um, yeah, that was the beginning of the best years I say of my That's life. An so, amazing story. So yeah. just just to be clear, yes. the normal lifestyle is traipsing around <laughs> Southern California <laughs> with with Hef and the girlfriends. Okay, Basic, that's the normal. Yeah, that became yeah. my new normal. R it was speaking, normal. Right. Like my office was the Playboy Mansion. Like it was normal to like drive up there and like flamingos are passing and peacocks and like it was like Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Like, good morning, what's good morning. I've tried to explain Butler. that to people too. It, and it's hundred percent. We'll go to was. the zoo and we'll see yeah. a peacock. I'm like, I used to live somewhere yes. where they just walked around yeah. and no one understands no deal, like yeah. what that is like. Monkeys yeah. and yeah. the monkeys yeah. and, you know, monkeys yeah. in the backyard. Yeah, yeah that big um what <laughs> the was whooping the crane. Yeah, the crane. Yeah, spot. Yeah, spot. 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 spot the oh crane. My God. And Carl. <laughs> yeah, spot. Oh, Carl. we're definitely going to be yeah. talking about them. And we yeah. got a packed freaking room here right now. I mean, we have both our beautiful, lovely, you know, hosts here in both in from town. Yes. Ladies, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we got Ken Percy, we got Victoria Fuller, and of course the infamous Scott Ramsey. Hello, I've got the. The really deep voice. And I'm, <laughs> I'd like to go on record as saying I'm in love with my voice. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you have the, the smaller if, yeah. mic? Yes. Bigger voice, smaller <laughs> mic. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, I, it's it's compensating in reverse. <laughs> Can't have well, it all. I want to. We were talking about reality TV, uh, Lauren, and you had mentioned the Amazing Race. We are yeah. going to be touching on that, but before yeah, we talk it, about right? yes, Victoria, yes, that's right. No, yeah. I came on after your season. That was I was 2003. Is when I filmed. yeah. So yeah. I think I was 2004 to 2006. Or were something. you okay. on the season when Jamie Emerson was on? She's a playmate. The red yeah, hair, red the two. Oh, oh no, I know Jamie. Yeah. yeah, no, I think she was. I wasn't. She was after. I met her. Okay. Yes. Oh, you oh I love Jamie. Twice. Yeah. She did All Stars. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. did All Star too. So she was were, a badass. Okay. Like she, she was. was a police officer. Yeah. Like, she is so cool. She was my uh, bridesmaid. Oh, was she? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Don't tell me I said hi. She I love Jamie. Yes, yeah, she so does. Yes. What years were you on Amazing Race, Victoria? I was on, well, we filmed in 2003, so I think it came out just before 2004, mm-hmm. something February 2004, I think it was. Yeah. That's about that's about the, the turnaround, right? Like when you film, it's about a year if, later, no. right? No, oh, no. They so. film yeah. and they edit as it goes. So they, yeah. they keep taking the tins away back to America, wherever they go, mm-hmm. and they edit. And by the time you get back done on the race, it's almost already edited completely. And now oh, wow. it's even shorter. Like when I was on it, we went around for, we were gone for five weeks. And then I heard that as it went on, it was like three weeks. Like they did a whole season in three weeks. It's, I was gone 39 days on yeah. being filmed. Out yeah. in the world. Yeah. Wait, wait an entire that? season in three yes. weeks? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They have to probably do that wow. so it's wild. Like stuff doesn't get leaked or. Well, you have can. to. That's yeah. why you go to sequester. Yeah. It's like a whole thing. You can't tell yeah. your friends and family yeah. where you are and what you're doing. And yeah. So you're just like missing. And I think now it's different. <laughs> I think now they will talk about it. But at the time, I remember like, you know, you're not, not supposed to. to tell your family. And like, well, I'm going to be in, you know, in another country. Like, I should yeah, probably tell somebody. And businesses. Right. Yeah. Well, a typical season is how many shows? 10 to 12? I think it was... 10 to ep- 12 shows, three weeks. No, no. Episodes yeah. in one season. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, it's 11, that's yeah. 10, 11 crazy. episodes, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, well, like well, I just think about the... Okay, so you're field producing. You're mm-hmm. you're setting it up. You you yeah. get your storyboards. You get everything. Hey, well, this is what we're going to shoot. We're going to do it. And it's reality TV. So you're... Mm-hmm. Even though you kind of get a premise, it's mm-hmm. just a skeleton. Mm-hmm. You're just having to capture what naturally happens. You know, someone gets upset. Someone hurts themselves. Something yeah. defaults or... Whatever, like Amazing Race, right? You're you're trying these crazy, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, challenges, you know, challenges, challenges, right? Yeah. And and someone gets hurt or whatever, and these things. And now you got to find that, mm-hmm. and then it goes to the editor. Yeah, you know, bring it on in. Segue. Tight as earth. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a. I mean, you're you're job. now yeah. now that because I think it's job, it's fascinating. Yeah. So like with with Titus and I, right? We get together, yeah. and I'm always I love to soak in and learn. Mm-hmm. Like, and will we talk about that, Lauren? Like how yeah. we got to work together? But yeah. I would ask, I go, dude. So what's it like for you? Because mm-hmm. you are not there. Mm-hmm. Like you know, when 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 Lauren's there and she's going around and she's talking to us and the, we're the staff and mm-hmm. this is what we're doing. We're filming this or filming that. You're just getting. A buttload of freaking film. Raw right. yeah. footage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what's that like for you? Oh, that's a lot of footage. I think I think the uh, pinball machine just got turned on there by you, Titus. <laughs> Ooh. Is that, is that have you, have you ever, have that's you ever heard a woman commercial. make that noise before? <laughs> no, that, that's, you, 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 he, he leaned against a flipper button. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh my god, that was hysterical. Oh, Has god. that not never happened well, before on one of these? We're gonna take a break right there. That is perfect. We're gonna take a break right there. We're gonna calm down the pinball machine. You are listening to Rogue Bunnies Mayhem. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. oh my god. I thought it was Jen doing that. <laughs> I, did. I didn't want to look. I'm like, whoa. The, 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 the look. Michael, the look on your face. (laughs) Hi, it's Victoria Fuller, founder and lead artist of Rogue Bunnies, and more importantly, Miss January 1996. You should all know the story by now. Me and my hundred bunny sisters have gone rogue. What you need to do is visit roguebunnies.com. By purchasing your Rogue Bunnies NFTs, you can be part of our Discord community, which gets you early access to Rogue Bunnies series drops, special promotions, exciting IRL events, our famous poker nights, and so much more. All you have to do is visit roguebunnies.com. That's R-O-G-U-E-B-U-N-N-I-E-S.com. Let's explore the future together. Welcome to the metaverse. (laughs) (laughs) And we're back. And we're back. (laughs) 
You know, it's, it's, it's funny too, right? Because for a lot of television, probably, when reality TV came out, you know, lines were crossed, right? Mm -hmm. Before you couldn't say certain things or you couldn't sh show certain subject matter. Well, when you think about what was the first reality show, uh, what Cops. was it? Uh, was Birch it and Bond Munster. Oh, yeah. Yes. Was that, was Amazing that, Race. He true. did Cops, and that was the first reality show, and then it was Real World. Oh, yes. Real World was after Cops. Yeah, after See, Cops. that's where Scott and I were trying to talk. We couldn't figure it out. So, yeah. whoa. He's the king. Birch and Bond Munster. Yeah. 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 And, and was still like is. It's still Osborne. going. It's amazing. It's amazing. I think was that, the Osbournes the first celebrities? Osbournes were the first, like, celebrities. I don't know. I would have to say. Well, okay, celebrity family, but I would say Girls Next Door. Because you have to. Wait, can we touch on that for a second? Yeah, sure, yeah. Ozzy Osbourne just just announced that he's moving to England because America is getting too crazy. Yeah. Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. Listen. We're too, America's too getting crazy. too crazy for Ozzy Which Osbourne. probably means that it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean. That's a high bar. That's, but it's true. Like, I remember working in reality TV or a version of it. Like, it was so early on. Like, nobody knew what reality TV yeah. was or if it was even going to be a thing when we all started working in it. And I remember hearing, like, this concept of, like, there's going to be cameras following, like, this one family, like, what are they going to talk about? What is this show going to be? Yeah. Like, it just sounded bizarre to me. But they were the best family And, and it was it the because... best, and it totally worked, yeah. obviously. We're still doing it to this day, these, you know, the Kardashians and uh, yeah, you know, so on and so forth. Right. Kendra following yeah. girls next yeah. door. You know, and, and it really worked, but it was such a bizarre concept <laughs> back then. Yeah. So during the, during the beginning of the show, Titus, we were bringing up at, about, like, you know, what it's like. You know, Lauren, you're there. You're working with us, right? We're, mm -hmm. we're, we're figuring this is the show. Hey, guess what? Mm -hmm. We're going to do this birthday party yeah. or we're going to do this murder mystery. It's doggy birthday party. Do you get, you just always say, yeah, doggy will definitely bring that up. <laughs> oh, my God. Still embarrassing to this day. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, all of a sudden, you're brought in. Did you do reality TV before? Not really. I mean... Like, what was this format like for you to learn? Like, how does this work? We would have a story department that would go through the raw footage and kind of... There was a theme for each episode. Sure. So, so they would kind of decide, okay, here are the points we're going to try to... Cover. Try to cover, yeah. yeah. But when they shot it, they never really... It was not like a planned, this person's going to say this or this person's going to say that. It was really... Loose. Here's what's yeah. this. This is kind of what's going on. We're gonna throw this birthday party for dogs, or we're, you know, <laughs> or the girls are gonna go skiing, or right. What a life. And then, whatever happened, happened. Yeah. So how much how much footage do they put in your lap for every minute of finished product? Well, there are thousands of hours. Damn. Just, just I don't know how you get through yeah. a thousand. I mean, when did you sleep? No, but <laughs> I didn't have to go through. Yeah, all there's that. a oh, team. No. There's a team really before it gets to okay. him that like story assistants and story editors who are really watching the raw footage and noting where the, the good parts are. Got it. Are, and then they're going to kind of break it down before it even gets to him. But then Got he it. will have to go into raw footage because if he's missing something, he's like, wait, where was that? You know, I need this additional, you know, like a shot of the exterior of the house or whatever. Yeah. Or uh, reaction or shots reactions or, or whatever. You know, we dig into the footage and see, you know, if there was more to the story and, mm -hmm. and really it's, what do you leave out? Mm -hmm. But with the girls next door, what was fun was we got to kind of, we, we had a lot of leeway as far as, far as like, it was a comedy. It was fun, yeah. you know? Yeah. So if you could think of a goof or a, like a joke or a spoof or something that, you know, you could do with a scene, mm -hmm. like we do spoofs on CSI or um, the more, you know, like PSA and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. whatever we could do to make it funny, we, we kind of had a lot of leeway and um, the producers really kind of encouraged that. So, and Kevin did. So, mm -hmm. you know, like what I remember Holly was wanting to remodel the Playmate house. Yep. She did a tour of the Playmate house and she was going to repaint this and recarpet that. And then at the end, she said, you know, I think I'd like to just tear the whole thing down and build Versailles. So I, <laughs> I, blew, yeah, we're going to do that overnight. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> so, so I blew up the Playmate house with like CG and then had Hef's favorite chair come flying toward the camera and then wing, there goes mm -hmm. Versailles. You know, so yeah, there's that so kind that of thing. But that's planned. fun, creative that's stuff fun. on your own. Yeah, your yeah. Own. yeah. we yeah. got to be creative. Yeah. yeah. So, so going through the raw footage, you're like an archaeologist looking yeah. looking for uh, beats that you can put into the into the show, right? For story points. Yeah, yeah. fun moments that might have been missed. That you know, sometimes those real moments or the reactions, like you said, 
could change like an, an entire scene. Mm -hmm. Um, or the, like those funny. Yeah, we always it was it was a comedy. That's where it was. You know, that's what it was meant to be. All the girls were in on it. Nobody we weren't making fun of them. They were in on all of it. And it was just meant to be a really fun, lighthearted. I always thought comedy. it was super creative. And also we always got to see uh, Hef would always screen it before mm -hmm. it would air. So we got to see the one that wasn't fuzzed out, that didn't have the that had all the bloopers and the yeah. bad language and all that. And the nudity. And the nudity and everything. Yeah. And I'd be All like, when uh -huh. we first started watching, I think the first time we got to watch, I'm like, I cannot <laughs> believe they're going to show this. I was like, <laughs> I was like fascinated. Yeah. And then I, I realized quickly, uh, because there was an episode where Hef and Holly babysit my daughter uh -huh. when she was an I infant. I yeah. <laughs> and uh, because they were thinking about having a baby and yeah. this whole thing. And um. And so I dropped her off. It was like four or five hours, you know, whatever, the suitcase and all this <laughs> instructions on what to do with the baby and stuff. And when we watched the episode, Therese is on Hef's bed mm -hmm. with magazines. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to get letters from the school <laughs> with magazines and the back of the headboard all the dildos. Oh, yeah. And oh. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> baby oil. I was saying the oh, oh, Hef's baby oh, oil on oh, the mirror up the above. The mirror, the, the, the purple, the black dildo. The, yeah. I mean, she was, I was just too like, young for that to be a core memory. I know, so but I it was behind okay. her. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. Nobody's going to want a play date. So <laughs> I, <laughs> and by the way, speaking of editing, sorry to cut you off just for a second, just to segue into yeah. editing. Towards the end, we actually had to either remove the dildos because they ended up. You fuzzed up, them out. We had to fuzz because it was so expensive in editing because we oh. constantly had to like cover the dildos. And so sometimes we would just like remove them before a scene. Yeah. For well, that this reason. Was, well, the, the underwear hanging in the chandelier, yeah. the dildos, the baby oil, the Playboy, the, the Hef's bed, and there's my child. Oh. And they, when they returned her back to me, her diapers were on backwards. I was like, oh my oh God, my this God. is so stupid. So maybe oh rethink God. that having kids thing. So there's a, yeah. there's a, a line <laughs> item on some budget. Uh, some profit and loss statement saying yeah. fuzzing dildos. Yes. Yeah. Well, I remember one of Dildo my fuzzing. jobs literally that day was um, <laughs> I found myself like, this is so surreal. Like, this is my actual job. I took my, and one of the security guys were in there, of course, because, you know, everything was very secure. But I had to take my shoes off. Obviously, and Hef knew that I was doing this. Like, everything went through him but um, and Mary. So I took my shoes off and I got up on Hef's bed. And I was just found myself, you know, like grabbing dildos <laughs> <laughs> to like remove them from the scene. And I was like, this is the craziest job ever. That was ever. a great visual. And the security, yeah. Like mine, mine. Really, like, and the security's really like gloves. giggling in the corner. I don't think it was actually. In, was it, when was I it think uh, back. Kim, Kim Garrett no, or wasn't. Tony, Tony DeSalvo <laughs> or... Do you recall? It might have been Tony. It definitely wasn't Kim, but I okay. do remember, like, I re like I <laughs> just remember Permission someone giggling in <laughs> the corner, and so, I was like, I "Hey, can't I'm just gonna throw something." Job. So the butlers had to wash those. Okay, I'm just throwing that out oh there. Oh my Lauren. god! The more you know. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a question for Lauren that I think our, our listeners would want to know. Separate um, uh, oh god, What kind of advanced separate. degree would you recommend? <laughs> um, Psychology. I had a psych <laughs> degree actually. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we're just flying through. You know, I think we're all going to have to take a break and think about like, you know, what little deep, dark, secret places we just went into. Maybe we do leave, <laughs> bring a psychiatrist in here for just a yep. brief moment. Let's take a quick break. We're going to get right back. I am having so much fun. You are listening to Rogue Bunnies Mayhem. Hi, I'm Victoria Fuller, entrepreneur, artist, and of course forever Miss January 1996. My bunny sisters and I have joined forces, or should I say, gone rogue to revamp the heydays while exploring the future. So come join me and our sorority of the sexiest ladies on the planet. I promise you won't be disappointed. To join the party, find us at roguebunnies.com. That's R-O-G-U-E-B-U-N-N-I-E-S.com. See you there. Welcome to the metaverse. So I'm, uh, I'm sitting down with the career counselor at, uh, <laughs> uh, at, at school, and, uh, and I explain... Uh, what what are my options? And, and the counselor asked, "What do I want to do with my life?" I said, "Well, I want to be a dildo wrangler, maybe a <laughs> maybe a, a dildo fuzzer." And you didn't get the job. And that's uh, crazy. I, I guess I got the wrong degree. <laughs> so, so Lauren, you were explaining about like you know eventually you had to eventually take these things away, put them away because it was getting expensive. Yeah. And Titus, you have to work on going through the shows and a lot of editing. I've actually got to go to Titus's bay. Mm -hmm. Look at me, I know term words. Titus, right? there you I went go. To the the bay, right? I went really to the editing cool. bay. No, it's really cool. Uh, especially when you, you had a badass bay. The offices that I got yeah. to go to, you had the big giant uh, James Bond posters. Oh, yeah. 
you know, well, Kevin was a huge movie buff. Oh, yeah. rest in peace, so Kevin. So cool. I know. Definitely want to talk about Kevin. But, like, for editing, right? Yeah. Coming up with, like, is it all just on you? Oh, like, no, there's a whole team of Lauren? editors. Like, no, but no, but I mean, like, the ideas. Like, okay, move this, move that. I'm, I'm sure you had to do showings, because I know a lot of times, like, hey, dude, you want to go grab dinner? I can't. We're doing a screening. We're doing a screening. That's it. And, mm-hmm. and we're, okay, is that when you guys are making decisions, and then you got to go back? And forth, and that's, I mean... Well, we'll get notes during the screening. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I mean, we'd work with the producers, and we'd kind of bounce ideas back and forth, and a lot of times it was just kind of organic, the way you're going through the footage, and all of a sudden it kind of hits you, oh man, this would be funny, or this would be fun. I remember one time we were doing the... um, the softball episode. And in that one, oh, Victoria that Fuller. So I got the MVP. <laughs> yeah, she got awesome. the MVP. She hit a home run from what I recall. <laughs> Wasn't hard with these ladies. <laughs> 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 Throw some shade. <laughs> you were on Kendra's team, right? Or were you on Holly's? Uh, oh, she was on Holly's team. I was on, on Holly's? Holly's team. And I think I was one of the few girls that could actually throw the ball. <laughs> and you, and you, But you could hit, too. I could hit, I could throw, I could catch. Yeah. If it came in my direction. Well, then perfect. And you were the balance because Kendra could play. I was the yeah. pitcher. You were, okay, all right, got yeah. it. All right. Jennifer's throwing some serious stink eye. <laughs> I am, no, I'm like, stop <laughs> trying to recall this, like, episode. Because I mean, you were, was so you much fun. part of the game. No, no because, okay, I, I mean, I, no. I was 2009. So yeah. I was yeah. at home watching Girls Next Door. This was probably like 2000. 2007 or 8. Yeah, it was yeah. called Catcher in the Raw. Yeah. Okay, of it. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> and that was the one that they did oh, the bubble. Oh, yeah, the yeah, bubbles. yeah. Oh, Brian, well, you know how that, that well, well, we, okay, so I'm, I'm going to give you the background on that. So when um, Girls Next Door was coming out, obviously Kendra is not a girly girl, you know, right? She's, no, uh, she's, she's a, a self-proclaimed she's a sporty. tomboy, sporty yeah. girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, most of the episodes were really dealing around more of a, you know, like party, hey, we're going to throw this kind of party. I mean, I worked a lot with Bridget. Me and Bridget were really tight and close. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I love working with her. And we come up with ideas because that's just what I love to do. And Set up too. events and everything. And we do. Yeah. We she do that stuff. That. She, she loves but, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. awesome, man. Um, yeah. And I oh, gotta adore her. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just talked to her a couple months ago. It's really still cool. We do all that. But then we remember one time uh, Kendra was in the in the butler's pantry and she was just kind of bummed out, right? And, you know, they, the girls spilled the, the, themselves out to us and, you know, to the butlers where they can. It's just like, it's not her, you know? It's like having to get dressed up. You'll see yeah. a lot of the scenes where, hey, we're going to do this uh, one episode, but you got to wear this kind of costume and that kind of, and she's like, ah, you know, that's not her thing. And so when she got the opportunity to do what she likes, yeah. you know, I remember it was like uh, Bryant and oh, we definitely oh, got to yeah. get Bryant on a show. Oh, we have yeah, to do that. For sure. um, so Bryant and I were sitting around, and we're like, going, guys, we got to do something for Kendra to really like blow this show up. Mm-hmm. What could we do for her? So I remember, I think I told you, didn't it, Lauren, the, the idea about so, doing yeah. the cheerleaders? Oh, yeah, the, che- yeah, yeah, the cheerleaders. Yeah, the cheerleaders. So I go, look, guys, you <laughs> really want to do this? Let's embarrass the crap out of ourselves, yeah. okay? It'll blow up. It'll be uh-huh. funny. I know it doesn't make sense because there's not a halftime in <laughs> baseball, but wouldn't that be funny to do a halftime mm-hmm. show we're not going to tell anyone. You're, the, I think, the only one that knew that we were doing oh, this. We had a little area. We had freaking cheerleading outfits, and there we were perfect. because Alan Loeb was doing the the commentator. He has yeah. like you know Scott, like your voice, He's, you know, yeah, and he was doing voice. the yeah right, yeah. doing the the commentating for the for the sh- for the baseball game mm-hmm. or softball and. All the butlers are there and everyone's doing their roles and taking care. And then the boss, Heffy's up there having a blast. And and next thing you know, we're like, oh, it's time. And we all run <laughs> off, go into the canopy, and we're now changing really quick. The funny part is cameras are in there while we're all changing, right? Yeah. Boom. Next thing you know, we're putting on two pops you know and skirts. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> wow. And so, um, you know, so then we do that and then it comes out and then we announce it. We come running out and there we are. We're like, you know, guys, we're doing this national television. Mm -hmm. And there we are running out in two tops and skirts (laughs) and like doing the cheers. And the best part was seeing the boss Mm -hmm. lose himself. Oh, Oh, yeah. He was cackling. Yeah, I can hear it too. He was probably (laughs) just like, he was loud. Everybody was roaring. We yucked it up and everything. And it made us all feel so good because we knew that Kendra was like, the guys did this for us. Yeah, for no, sure. No, for me, you know, mm-hmm. really. Is, you know, and then we did. And we told her later yeah. that we did that purposely yeah. for you. Yeah. You know? And let's, She's so let's cool be honest, us. Brian. You you rock a tube top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the funny part, I, I'm, I'm pretty proud that I've, like, been working on trying to, you know, I don't get to eat like I do at the mansion. I've lost weight. 
And I look at some of those pictures like, oh my God, the <laughs> belly hanging out and there we are all freaking hairy. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> so do you but, yeah. dress like that on the weekends? Because well, you sometimes. really, you yeah, really you know, miss. Depends on how I identify. <laughs> you know, I actually have that, that uh, in that issue, that act, picture actually ended up in an issue of, of Playboy. Oh, really? I, I got to do uh, an interview. It was, do you know uh, which one the, it was? I have it in my bar. Had it all ringing. I had uh, the historian do this work to it so it'll oh, never fun. fade. And it sits there and I look at it and I'm like, God, Aww. we really did that. But we did some fun but, stuff. So, well, like another thing was like a Kendra episode. Do you remember the surfing episode with Kelly Slater? Oh, that yes. That was awesome. We all went down to Orange County. I don't remember that one. That was really fun. Probably yeah. I was giving birth or setting something. Up yeah, on the, maybe, yeah. Setting up on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. And we got to do so yeah, much stuff. That's what was cool. Yeah. Next thing you know, we were taking our job off mm -hmm. from the mansion. Yes. And we're getting to go on site. Yes. I loved it. Anytime Laura was oh, now we're going to do this. <laughs> I know. You changed our job and I thank yeah. you forever. Was that uh, when you know, we all you went made down so much to fun. the, we all went down to the beach, a bunch of us, and we had a bonfire. Yeah, afterwards. bonfire. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I didn't realize that she was doing that. I was yeah, during the day, it was like a surfing thing. We did the limbo. Yeah, the limbo. Exactly. Yeah. I remember that now. Yeah, that was cute. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I didn't realize though. she was surfing. Yeah, she surfed with Kelly Slater. It was super That's cool. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So, so Titus, so was there anything that, like, where you were editing and, say, all of a sudden that got pulled that you wish could have stayed in there? <laughs> you have to, in editing, you can't be married to anything you're working on. Because... You know, uh, you can't take it personal. Sense. Can't all get in there. Yeah. So you may, there may be something that you really like and in a screening, they'll say, well, now nah, get rid of that. But you know, most of the time things stayed. Well, I knew you do some gag edits though too, right? Yeah. Well, you know, you show me some fun gag edits. Well, we, no, we, we that do never that really like, aired. yeah, but those are just for like the in-house just yeah, for fun. Yeah. But I did one <laughs> for the, for that softball game. Actually, I was going through, I had, I had, isolated Hef's mic because I wanted to hear what he's talking about when they're up in the bleachers. I was looking for the story mm -hmm. of anything substantive or mm -hmm. fun that he was talking about. Well, he's cheering for the girls. He's cheering for Holly. And as I'm listening to it, he's clapping, he's cheering. It's, oh, oh, go, go, you know? <laughs> And so, and so I, so I thought that sounds like he's having sex. <laughs> so oh. I took, so I took that and, and I put that audio under an exterior of the mansion at night, moving yep. up toward his window. Oh Jesus! And, and so, and then I called the other editors in, and we just laughed. And <laughs> but I was fairly new at the company, and that one day we're really bad though. Well, one day, yeah, one day we're know, in a screening. I'm this in my... Yeah, we're in a screening, and and. We get to the end of the screening, and then one of our producers, Katie, says, so Titus, would you like to show Kevin your alternate ending? And I'm like, shit, I, I did not intend for, I mean, I'm going to get fired. I, I didn't know what she was talking about at first, and then she said, oh, you know. So then I, all the blood drained out of my face. <laughs> and, but I, I pulled it up and I played it for him and he just roared yeah. and died laughing. And then he said, that's the final scene of the show. That's and awesome. it made it so into cool. the episode. Mm -hmm. So it was, oh, a, lot, yeah, it was it a lot of fun those, yeah. you know, with those kind of that's things. Oh, yeah. That is so, so cute. Fun. You know, the things are just moving along. I knew this was going to be so much fun. And I already knew in the back of my head, I was talking to Brett and I go, I bet you this turns into a two-part show. Mm -hmm. I just know it because we haven't even got to touch on like what it was like to work with Kevin, what it was like to work with the boss. Oh my God, and yeah. so we're going to do a two part. Everyone, you're going to want to tune in next week because <laughs> it's, it's going to be a blast. Keep tuning in. I hope you're having a fun. Tell all your friends, go to rbmayhemshow.com. It's real simple. rbmayhemshow.com. And the, the mayhem, mayhem continues. continues.